game of golf, whether it was playing with my dad, with friends, or whoever else. So today I'm going to be talking about the history of golf and the origins, some people who made it the game it is today, and uh, where the game is at itself today. Um, so golf is still, itself started in Scotland, and it's unknown exactly where the game's ancient origin, origins began. Uh, some people think it started in Japan, um, and the first modern game was played in the 15th century, and it also included King James IV. Um, King James IV banned golf because it was keeping his practice of archery on hold. Uh, this ban was in effect until 1491 when King James IV himself decided to play the game. Um, the oldest known rules were written in 1744 by Edinburgh Golf Club. And now that we've talked about the origins, uh, the first golf course to ever have played golf on is St. Andrew's Golf Course in Scotland. And according to golf.com, it's the most prestigious, prestigious golf course in Scotland today. And according to St. Andrew's Coach Houses .co at the website, uh, Mary Queen of Scots was the first female to ever play golf. Um, she, at the time, she was also a member of the course. So now that we've talked about the origins and a little bit of the beginning history, I'm going to talk about uh, the evolution of the equipment and more specific, the golf ball. Um, as you can see, the feathery was the first type of golf ball, and actually the first, very first type of golf ball they ever used was a wooden type of golf ball, and that was in about the 15th century. Then they moved to the feathery. Um, eventually, the like Gouda Persia, I believe is how you say it, um, the Haskell, and then the three-piece. And the three-piece is pretty much known what we have today, and I'll touch on that. Um, so the feathery was a handcrafted, um, made with goose feathers tightly packed into a horse uh, or cowhide spear. Um, next was the gouda percha. It was made from rubber, and when it was heated, the rubber would easily be formed into a spear and used as a golf ball. Um, next we have the Haskell. Um, it was similar to the Gouda Percha in many ways, but it also included thread with the rubber to make the ball go further. And finally the three-piece. Um, it contained a solid or liquid center core um, as well as an out layer and a soft cover. So now here's a diagram of the golf balls, um, how they're made today. Uh, they start out with the soft center core and then they move to the cross core is put over the center core. Then you have the high resistance um, for the wind. High resistance outer core that goes over the cross core. And then you, you have the high resistance mantle that goes over the, the first three. And then finally you have the last shell, the high trajectory 362 seamless um, dimples that go over the first four. So now that I've talked about some equipment and the origins, I'm going to move on to the influential players of the game. Um, these three guys um, pretty much shaped the game of golf that it is today. And uh, these three men combined to have 34 total majors between them, which is pretty incredible if you think about it. Um, and according to the book titled Arnie and Jack, written by Ian O'Connor, these three legends are considered to be the Mount Rushmore of golf. Um, and when you talk about golf, you can't leave out the name Jack Nicholas. Um, he was nicknamed the Golden Bear. Um, he had 18 majors, which is the most all time, so he's considered the all time greatest. Um, in 2015, he received the Muhammad Ali Legacy Award, um, which is given to sports figures who show great sportsmanship, leadership, and philanthropy. And today, he's also involved with many charities uh, with his wife, Barbara, including the Nationwide Children's Hospital, which, which is located in Columbus, Ohio. Um, golf in our world today, um, around 25 million people a year play, play it. Um, thir there's about 34,011 golf courses in the world, um, which consists of 15,372 in the U.S., which is about 40%. And Florida also makes up for 1,250 courses. Um, the most expensive course that you'll find in the United States today is at Shadow Creek, and it's in Shadow Creek Golf Course, which is located in Las Vegas. And it I believe it costs $500 uh, to play 18 holes. Um, also, some of the courses today, Augusta National, which hosts the Masters. Um, Augusta National is, according to Golf Digest and Golf.com, is the number one course in Georgia and the number three course in the United States overall. Prairie Dunes, which is just about 20 minutes away, it's located in Hutchinson. It's the 
the number one course in Kansas, and it's the number 18 in uh, the United States according to GolfDigest.com. So today I talked a little bit, a bit about the history and the origin of the golf, game of golf, uh, some of the equipment, the three golf legends that uh, Ian O'Connor considers, and a little bit of the golf courses in the game today. So I hope you have more knowledge on the game today, and I hope you walk away knowing something a little more.